Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 14. In this training tutorial, we're going to take a look at controlling outputs that are pulsed with modulated driven, such as a boost control solenoid or an idle control solenoid, so setting up some of the configuration and details within our NSP software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up our pulse with modulated outputs from our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. A pulse with modulated output is gonna allow us to pulse a device that we're trying to control. Certain devices such as an idle control motor or a boost control solenoid require the use of a pulse with modulated type of output control. This is different than what we talked about in our previous training module looking at just basic on or off statuses for the control. So it's a bit more specific. We're gonna jump into the details of exactly what the parameters that we need to worry about mean for the specific device that we're trying to control. Now we're gonna be focusing on just setting up an idle control motor for this tutorial, also taking a look at just setting up boost control in terms of the activation state and understanding what's going on in, in the programming and what we need to pay attention to. This is not going to be how to go and dial in the idle control or how to go and do actual boost control tuning. We're gonna have separate in-depth tutorials for those specific topics. This is just understanding what a pulse with modulated output is going to be and how to program things properly according to that device that you're trying to control. All right, let's jump in here and take a look at where we can find setting up both the idle control and the boost control outputs. And then we're gonna talk about all the things we need to know associated with a pulse with modulated type of control. We're gonna move here from our fuel tuning window over here under the side, under main, and then into our navigation tree. Now here, I'm gonna go in, expand my navigation tree on the side, and I'm gonna go in here to engine functions tab. Under the engine functions, we're gonna move here into our main window. This allows us to turn a feature or function on. In this case, I'm gonna jump in here to the idle section, go into idle control and toggle that on. Now it's gonna allow me to activate the idle control output. Now there's various different types of idle control motors that we can work with. What we're gonna be focusing on and talking about in this tutorial is going to be the pulse with modulated BAC two wire or three wire type of control. Those are pulse with modulated type of output. We also have other options such as drive by wire and we also have the options for stepper motors. They're controlled in a little bit different manner. When we get into the specific tutorials of looking at the various types of idle control, we'll talk about those specific outputs but for right now, we're just gonna be focusing on this pulse with modulated type of control, which is a BAC two wire or BAC three wire. If you're unsure of what type of idle control motor that you have, take a look at the wiring going to the idle control motor. If you have two wires that go to your idle control motor, that's gonna be pulse with modulated BAC two wire. And if you see that you have on your connector plug to the idle control motor, three wires, well, that'll be a BAC three wire. It's pretty straightforward. All right, let's jump in here and take a look at our idle control area here. So I'm gonna go and minimize the sensor area here, minimize fuel tuning, and we're gonna jump right here into idle control. Now there's a lot of details that we need to program for the idle control to work right based on this specific application that we're talking about and trying to deal with here. But what we're gonna do under the control method is set this specifically to the BAC2 wire. I have an older Honda idle air control motor or solenoid that's fitted to my engine right now, and it is a two-wire solenoid. So one wire is going to be going for a power source to the solenoid. The other wire is going to be a pulse with modulated type of output control to the solenoid, meaning it's gonna pulse the solenoid so many times in a second, and we're gonna have things such as duty cycle that we need to know about, and also a frequency. We can find that right here, frequency aspect. That's gonna be all related to how we're controlling that solenoid. And essentially when we're dealing with idle control, it's gonna be allowing more or less airflow to bypass into the engine around the throttle plate through that idle control solenoid. It's a controlled vacuum leak. So we need to go make sure that we have our parameters programmed right. So when we're requesting a certain level of duty cycle output, it'll be moving a certain level of airflow and we can control our idle speed very, very precisely. Let's take a look at some of additional settings that we need to worry about. So now that I've set here on BAC2 wire, we need to go and set the frequency and also the activation state. Now there's some things that we need to know when we're talking about a pulse with modulated circuit. It doesn't matter if we're talking about an idle control solenoid controlled in pulse with modulated fashion. If we're dealing with a boost control solenoid in a pulse with modulated fashion, we'll find that we have two different aspects. We have a frequency aspect and a duty cycle aspect. 
the frequency aspect, we can see it's going to be in units of hertz. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.